I wanted to know your thoughts on Sean O'Hare. He seemed to have the size, athleticism, and look to be an eventual top guy in the WWE. My question is, what the fuck happened? He seemed to have never made it to the next level. Was it backstage politics, or did he just not have it? Do you remember any instances of O'Hare being difficult to work with in OVW? Well, not difficult. More, it, 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 I wouldn't term it difficult to work with. More like painful to watch. Um, and Sean <laughs> was Sean O'Hare was six foot four easily. Fucking jacked bodybuilder, 280 pounds, probably light on his fucking feet, had a demonic face with the beard and everything. And just he a striking look and w- had legitimately trained in martial arts. And it, 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 he had a brother. I won't mention his brother's name because he's a private citizen, it, but his name was almost Sean, almost Sean, one letter off. It was very confusing. And and he was a little guy that had a big mouth that got Sean in a lot of trouble because then they'd be out and he'd shoot his mouth off. And, and Sean loved, for whatever reason, getting in fights in bars and clubs or just in public and did it on a regular basis on numerous occasions, gotten issues in a variety of places. But he had all the tools, but he just didn't fucking get it. It working, it didn't translate his work to me, most of the time, wasn't that believable. And his promo, he couldn't convey, he didn't speak, he didn't have a voice, and he didn't speak like he should have to look like he looked, if that makes any sense to you. And I remember one time he had come up, this was after uh, that I had left, but I went back over there to visit Danny, and he showed me, it was like just not long after I'd left, he showed me the promo that Sean had come in and done where he had some kind of gimmick with us. I can't remember what, a spider fucking theme thing and a fucking something dark he wanted to convey. And it was just too much because Danny knew, right? And so Danny had just said, how about Sean? I'll just set the camera up and, and you just, you do whatever you want to do. And I will take that tape and I'll send it to the office, which is he did. So he fulfilled his part of the, the deal, but he knew as Sean, he rambled for two minutes incoherently about something that he had come up with and obviously memorized. And they, you know, that's, but he somehow saw that, right? He, he knew what he was talking about. He was firmly in, in favor of himself, but it just, it just didn't work. And you'd never, the best thing that the vignettes he did where he was like the, the devil on the shoulder and he, and he would try, he was going to coax and tease people into doing horrible things. Do you remember that? They played him for three weeks. Yeah, I remember that. Those were some of the most striking performances ever done on a wrestling program because they wrote down a sentence for him to say, and they shot it in a variety of interesting ways, and they edited them together in cool vignettes. That was the wrestling version of Millie Vanilli, because if he'd had to do that <laughs> live in the ring, it would have people would have been committing fucking Harry Carey in the aisleways. It was it was so cool to watch, but if he'd ever had to open his mouth live, he would have been over with. So it just that was just that was just it to me. 